looking for an affordable music class to take? Wanting to listen to some of the best local musicians in town? Looking for a cool venue for musical entertainment? Well, look no further because we found it all, plus him, and we're going to share with you in just a moment. Welcome to Come Out and Play Chandler. I'm your host Lisa Aquafrada and on this episode we are going to hear the musical sounds of Chandler. The city offers many opportunities for its residents and visitors to learn about and listen to music. While many of us enjoy watching a concert, some of us would rather have the guitar in our hand. And all musicians have to start somewhere. The city is the perfect stomping ground to get you started on the right note. The City of Chandler offers a variety of music classes to the community of Chandler. We offer classes at Snedeker Recreation Center, Tumbleweed Recreation Center, and the Downtown Community Center. We offer classes for preschool, youth, teen, and adults. The preschool classes help build strong communities and help improve the child's development through song, dance, exercise, and learning of the music concepts. With the variety of preschool classes we offer, each class has its own theme in which the instructors incorporate interactive play to help the students learn about music. These classes are fun because the children are learning as they're playing and the parents appreciate the opportunity to see how they grow and learn throughout the session. As the participants get older, we have a variety of youth classes that they can choose from. Some of the classes include vocals and instruments. In these classes, the participants get the opportunity to learn more about the musical concepts and about the instrument as a whole. I like playing the guitar because it's just what I like to do and what I like to do at home. These classes will help build self-esteem as the participants continue to develop. And it's helping me get good because I see what other kids are doing, so it helps me be motivated a lot more. Teens can choose from a variety of music classes that require no experience. If they want to learn more about the music, then we also have a variety of intermediate classes that they can take. For adults, we offer two levels of guitar classes at the Downtown Community Center. I think uh, the guitar is a very social instrument, uh, kind of like a piano, but uh, a lot more portable. So you could be around the campfire and someone will say, hey, get out that guitar. No one would ever say, get out the French horn, let's hear a song. So that's the neat thing about guitars is they sort of bring people together. And... Our quality teen and adult classes help participants meet new people that share the same interests. Well, in addition to um, teaching guitar for the city of Chandler, I'm, uh, I'm the guitarist, vocalist, and I'm songwriter for the group Instant Hobo. It's one thing to be a musician, but another to be able to teach music. My whole philosophy on guitar playing is that I, I take all of the lessons I had when I was a kid, and I had all these big, scary music teachers who would um, have all of this knowledge that I didn't have, and it was very intimidating. So I try to break it down and make it a little more simple and um, fun and friendly for students. And the amazing thing is music is a universal language, so you can teach someone to play an instrument who doesn't speak the same language you do. If you're interested in learning more about our recreation classes or would like to be an instructor, please visit our website. Gabby, did you have fun today with your pink guitar? We'll be right back to show you some more music events after this. Fun fact. Fun fact. One thing's for sure, in Chandler, you'll always hear great music at our events. Chandler offers two music festivals every year, one in the fall and one in the spring. Our spring music festival is the Chandler Jazz Festival, a two-day festival where folks can come out and enjoy jazz music for free. 
All we ask is you bring your blanket and your favorite chair and enjoy the music. This is the first year I've called a friend to come sit with me and you know it's just us two because our husbands are out working or whatnot and just a relaxing evening. We've got a main stage in Dr. A.J. Chandler Park, the courtyard in the San Marcos Hotel Resort, sidewalk bands all along downtown Chandler. So during the Jazz Festival, downtown Chandler is thriving with enthusiasm for jazz music. I came here a couple years ago with my husband and we had a really good time. It's relaxing, I love the music and it's awesome. And music. The Jazz Festival is truly a family friendly event as Jazz and Az hosts our Kazoo Clinic for kids of all ages. It's an opportunity for the little ones to be a star. Approximately 15,000 people come to this event every year and we look forward to having them out there. I guess what we like about the uh, music festivals here is that they're so real. They're just a good time to come out and listen to good music and just relax. Our fall festival is the Fall Rhythm Fest taking place at Tumbleweed Park every year. We're in our 26th year and we're looking forward to having two bands come out and perform for our guests of about 5,500 people. We also feature musical contests for our guests. It's fun to see them have a good time and show off their musical skills. The Fall Rhythm Fest each year caps off the day of fun-filled family activities as it follows the day of play. We've had a number of different groups perform for us at the Rhythm Fest over the past few years and they've been from different genres of music. Everything from country to blues to R&B, Latin rock and Top 40. The J Powers Band uh, has been together probably over 10 years and uh, I have some members that have been with me as long as 10 years. Uh, the newest members are over four years and it's a very tight R&B, blues, Motown, classic rock, reggae. Uh, we do everything from current pop to classic tunes. Interested groups in wanting to perform at City of Chandler events can go to our website and click on how to become an entertainer. After reviewing all submitted materials, if selected, we will contact you. Over the years, most of our groups that have performed for us out here in the city of Chandler have been local. We do occasionally have national acts that come out for the Chandler Jazz Festival, but we enjoy seeing local talent perform, whether it's a band, a singing group, or a dance group. We enjoy seeing them all out here. Music is important to all of our festivals. It keeps up the enthusiasm of our crowd. The atmosphere is lively and fun, all of our guests love to rock along to the songs being sung and to tap their feet as they listen to the bands on stage. I love the atmosphere, the families just coming out and hanging out and having a good time listening to music. Another great way to see local musicians is to come to the Sonoran Sunset Series at the Environmental Education Center at Veterans Oasis Park. We started this event to allow people to enjoy this park in a different way. They might not be an angler, they might not be a hiker or a biker, but it still allows them to enjoy our park in a different way and in a recreational way. The series is a monthly entertainment series that is located right out here at the amphitheater at Veterans Oasis Park. And it's a beautiful setting. It, it, the backdrop is the beautiful Veterans Oasis Lake. And we have the grassy amphitheater area behind us. Uh, people can bring their blankets, they can bring dinner and chairs and enjoy the free concert that is open to the public and is free for all ages. All of our performers are local performers that are perfect for this kind of setting. We've had everything from a country duo to an instrumental trio to a school choir. So we have all kinds of music and it's always geared towards different ages. There's always something for adults as well as kids. We're always interested in finding new and different performers. So if you're interested in performing for our next Sonoran Sunset series, please give us a call at the office. In December, we'll have our annual holiday concert, which will feature luminarias all around our lake. Make sure to check our website at chandleraz.gov slash veterans oasis for information about all of our performers, including 2013 dates. We'll be right back to show you some music you can hear indoors after this fun fact. The Chandler Center for the Arts opened its doors in 1989 as a shared facility between the City of Chandler and the Chandler Unified School District. It has three theaters with a total seating capacity of 1,500. Since its opening, thousands of people have been entertained, educated, thrilled, and inspired at the Center for the Arts. 
The center offers many artistic programs that motivate young people. We have a number of youth programs. We have the Camp Kids programs, which are fee-based programs, where we have professional actors, professional choreographers come in and work with students. Uh, that happens during our summer and during intercessions, and we also offer a Monday night class throughout the year. I found out about the camp from my friend who's going, who's been going here for a long time, and she told me I should probably do this camp because it's a lot of fun, so I decided to do it. I learn a bunch of dances and how to act better and like singing and dancing. Uh, if I could say anything, I would say, hey, do you want to have a bunch of fun and, you know, be a part of something that's like totally cool? I'd be like, just sign up for this camp. It's awesome. I performed when I was little about the same age. I did camps like this as well. And I just loved meeting new people, but still getting to be outgoing and a little bit fun and dancing around. Um, and then now it's a passion of mine to like help kids do the same thing. I was really shy when I was little. And now I have no problem being outgoing because of these camps, and I've seen a lot of kids do the same thing. We also have a Youth Advisory Council, uh, which is a program for teens ages 13 to 18, and uh, where they get to serve as an advisory council to our board of directors and learn all about arts administration. It's a free program for students to participate in. They can register online for that. And we have quite a big umbrella of activities in our Connecting Kids programs. If you're interested in participating in our Connecting Kids program, the best way is to do that on our, find out about it on our website, which is chandlercenter.org. We also have a Twitter feed and Facebook. You can follow us there. Um, but you can register online uh, for any of our fee-based programs, and you can also fill out an application online for our Youth Advisory Council. The center is the only large indoor cultural venue in Chandler and one of the only venues in the Valley that is able to provide quality programming at a highly competitive cost. We're about 90% done with our programming, so there still are some new things that'll come out. We've got a free summer concert series. This has been going on for close to 20 years. Um, this year it's sponsored by FastMed, and what we do is we have a series of concerts. There's five concerts. They're Friday nights at 7.30, and they're free to the public. So it's a great opportunity for you to come inside, cool off, and see some of the best local talent that we've got in the state. So a little bit of something for everyone. It's really good for families. It's totally free. We do recommend a small donation that just helps us offset the cost, but if you can't do that, we still want you to come out Fridays at 7.30, and you can check the website at chandlercenter.org for more information about this free summer concert series. The funds that are raised through our fund fundraising activities support our operations, uh, which provide things like the Free Summer Concert Series, like all of those headline acts that you see, and then certainly our Connecting Kids program. You know, we're offering most of those programs free of charge to children who don't have the opportunity to participate. So those funds directly offset our costs that we put right back into the community through our programming. I think music is a universal language of the soul. I think it's something that everybody can share. It's used for happy times, it's used for sad times. I say from wars to weddings, from sadness to gladness. It could take you anywhere. It could be a happy place or a, or a sad place. It could be a catharsis for like I'm feeling kind of bad, so I'll, I'll play something sad and it makes you feel better. Well, music gets me like Whenever I listen to music in my room, I just start dancing for some reason. It's always fun. Music can change your whole mood and attitude and can make you happy when you're not feeling good. Music helps me just get through like daily life. It's one of those things, if you need a little pick-me-up, that works so well. You just turn on some of your favorite music. Um, and it just, it's nice to escape to. Thanks so much for watching, and we hope you've enjoyed listening to the sounds of Chandler. I'm Lisa Aquafreda, and until next time, come out and play, Chandler.